everybody, Neil Weaver here. On today's episode of the Energy Academy, I'm going to be explaining what offshore transmission owners or OFTOs are. As you can probably guess, OFTOs are the owners of offshore transmission assets. These assets connect offshore wind farms to the onshore electricity network and typically include any offshore platforms and associated substations and export cables, as well as the onshore substation and onshore cables to connect to the distribution network operator substation, as well as all of the equipment used to make this work. Basically, everything between the offshore point of connection with the wind farm assets and the onshore point of connection with the onshore network. The reason they exist is that offshore wind farm developers are forbidden by their generation license from also owning transmission assets. Up to and including 2021, all OFTO assets like those listed above have been built by the wind farm developer, who is then required to sell the assets to an OFTO, which is a private company, generally a large finance house, set up specifically for this purpose. As an aside, the first OFTO license was granted in 2011 for the Robin Rig Wind Farm in the Solway Firth, a sandbank between the coasts of Cumbria and Galloway. Prospective OFTOs bid for the privilege of being OFTOs via tender rounds run by Ofgem. The winning bidder then negotiates terms with the wind farm developer for the purchase of the transmission assets for a transfer value determined by Ofgem after which Ofgem awards a transmission license and the transfer takes place. So how do Oftos actually make money? Well, they're awarded a fixed 20-year revenue stream indexed to UK inflation and underpinned by the Oftos license. This revenue stream is unrelated to the wind farm performance and the Ofto just has to make sure that the transmission infrastructure is available to transmit. The amount an OFTO receives is known as the Tender Revenue Stream, or TRS, and it covers operation and maintenance, insurance, SPV management, decommissioning, taxes and financial costs, amongst other things. There are two types of OFTO license, called the Transitional Regime and the Enduring Regime. The Transitional Regime is a license to operate and maintain assets, while the Enduring Regime is a license to do the same plus a license to construct the assets. In the case of the latter, the TRS would also cover construction costs, but until now, all OFTO operated assets have been constructed by the developer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.